okay so in this video i am explaining a procedure to install jitsi with awt authentication uh, to do that i have used ubuntu 18.4 bionic and i would recommend everyone to try it in a new machine so okay let's start so there is an official documentation as well uh, uh, but informations are not sufficient to install and configure jwt authentication plugin so i thought of making a video which gives you an end to end procedure to install jitsi plus jitsi with awt authentication enabled as well so entire procedure is also present in my github link which i will be um, giving in a description link below okay so let's start Okay, so first update the Ubuntu packages. So I have a machine, uh, this Ubuntu installed. Update these packages. Done. Then set your host name. That is required for internal and external communication. And open etc host and add a line. Get your public IP name. Copy it, put it here, and give some hosting. For example, I have given a hosting is meet, so you can add dot org meet. Save it. And example dot org I am taking because in one of their main official document they have used the same name meet dot example dot org. I am copied the same steps here. And next, just verify once whether your host name is working fine or not. Yes, it is able to resolve meet example.org. That's all. Now we are starting with the procedure to install the JITSI and plus JC with token and without token as well. So one of the major requirements is to install Lua 5.2. What you have to do is just copy this all lines, copy it, paste it, and it has auto confirmation enabled. Okay. Let it complete the procedure. Okay, so Lua installation is done. It took around three to four minutes. I have paused to make video. So, okay. Now, install Lua CJSON library. And there is another uh, Lua GC library. Uh, it provides JSON parsing and encoding support for JWT token. So again, just copy paste all these lines. Okay, and paste it here. I may pause my video. Sometime it may take more time. Uh, it took around less than one minute to complete this installation. Now the major part is installing the prosody. Let's install. Okay, so this is where we are installing the prosody, and this the entire JWT authentication is done by prosody plugin itself. JWT is a part of prosody plugin. So it's around 170 MB and it may take some time. I will just pass my video to complete this installation. Uh, okay, no, uh, actually here it asks restart service during package upgrade. Press S, yes. We want services to be auto restart. Okay, so here it completes the prosody installation. It took around four minutes to complete the prosody. Might be my internet connection is slow. So there are a lot of softwares are installed in the background. So I would recommend uh, to restart once. So work before proceeding to install actual GC softwares. Okay, I am rebooting the machine once. Let it come out.
ORG the same name which is uh, mentioned in the original documentation and also we have given this is as our host okay enter and yes generate new self sign certificate yes please generate it do not use I want to generate my own this may give some time travel to you um, until you are uh, so good in CA certification part again I want pause it uh, let it complete okay it completes now I am gonna install the GC token part Again, application. This is very important. You need to remember this app ID and there is app secret ID. Uh, I can give like um, mm, app ID like Jitsi. No, I will give something like SHNX. Uh, zero zero is my app ID. Okay. And SHNX zero zero as my secret ID as well. Both fine. Okay. Done. Zero zero. I just wrote down myself because I should not forget it. Come on, you can give any name, but you just need to remember what we have given. I will show you uh, in while generating JW token where exactly to put it. Okay, so let it complete. So our token installation is also completed. So we are always almost close. We just have to do some extra configurations here. So open this file. ETC Procedure Procedure CSD file. Open this file. Um, browse for this entry. C2F require encryption and make it false. Make it false. One part. Second, I think uh, this file just check once at the end of the file have this include or not. It has include. Fine. And third is you need to add this is also a one of the important entry here because while we are generating the JWT token you have to pass the access and audience that issuer and subscriber it should match these entries otherwise the validation will fail so add it anywhere let's say I will add it somewhere in the starting let me put it here fine we are almost done and we need to remember these values as well it's shahid shahid you can put your name as well here mm, but you have to be careful like what name you are putting here now restart all the services okay gigasi is not installed let me install gigasi but that's fine gigasi is a another level of plugin uh, which we may not require now okay we will uh, we will install Jigasi later if required okay now uh, let us let's form the JWT token so what you can do you go to this link click here okay you click here and you copy this JWT token here I have it already but uh, I will paste it again and remember to use HS256 token and copy this entire content at payload part here here payload part done and remember i have given shahid as an audience shahid as an issuer that is because uh, here
Okay, uh, I was uh, facing some error and that was because uh, it was taking this URL from the cache. Uh, I have uh, pointed it to different URL, uh, but it was not updated. Okay, so now it is fine. So uh, after clicking on this link, it will ask you for username and password. Since we are not authenticating ourselves with username and password, we are authenticating ourselves with um, JWT token. So let's copy the uh, generated JWT token. And you can also tell the logs. For example, when we tried without token, it gave an error. The, you can tell the property logs. You can tell the property log here. It will show you if there is any error. For example, when you tried last time, it gave an error. Not allowed. Token required. Yes, since we have not passed the token, it is telling the token required. Let's pass the token now. Uh, JWT question JWT is equal to the newly generated token. Okay, let's see what are the logs. It is telling the invalid signature. Yeah, this is how we can we need to debug the issues. Uh, okay, so reason it is invalid because I have copied the token from the different tab. I have to copy from the one where I have entered the secret key SHNX00. Actually, I had copied the token from RSYS app. This is a different secret. So the secret should match. So I have to take the token from here. Correct. So I have to take the token from here. Okay. And let's go to this link and paste this token here. Here. Yes. So keep monitor here the log as well. Authenticated. So authenticated means mm, the authentication is successful. Let's see if we are able to see ourselves in the screen. Yes, you can see myself here. And let's join another person here. Okay and I will copy the same token. So anyone can join this conference using this token. That is what the uh, purpose of using JWT. We don't need to enter the username. We just need this token to get them in. So let's see. Okay, so let's see. There are two members, yes. We go to see myself and, and another person here. here. So, so let's just join one more copy this URL, paste this URL, copy this URL, copy this URL, copy this it is very important when you join a user, it will be some good information of GCCGIKOFO. I have tailed the locks, so it will tailed the locks. So some dots like added past added participant ID like Angry Whales. Hi, like, like, like added, 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 so that's how we can create a GC with JWT token enabled. And one of the beauties, if you don't want this JWT token, like after following this step, if you want to go back to the original setting, you can toggle it. There is only one setting is required uh, to enable authentication and disable authentication. That is uh, what you can do. You can open file. Okay. Uh, vi etc property Avail. Okay. 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 Okay.
your domain name and you come back here there is a mechanism called authentication and instead of authentication you need to put anonymous uh, you can copy that text from here sorry it was there in one of the document like that spelling or searching this part instead of token we give anonymous we give have a hack in here minus, and we give this recently start all we need to restart all the services jigasi is fine for now okay all services are restarted now you can tell the copper any log log may not required now what we are uh, seeing is like we don't need um, we don't need a, a JWT token or any kind of authentication mechanism here to join a conference. For example, in the same setup, for example, see, you can see me here. So I have joined the conference. I have created a room. So uh, uh, we can take another participant in. So you can see here two members are joined. This is me and another person. And so what I want to explain is, is like we don't need in this case we don't need any kind of uh, authentication token or username and password. So, so any time you can tell how to do it. Authentication is enabled. Authentication is disabled. So that's that's all for this video. And thank you very much. Thank you very much. Three members are very much. So. Thanks a lot and uh, in the description I have so thanks a lot thanks a lot and uh, in the description, description my I have given the link I have not able to beat her what I am telling you my is fine fine yeah thank you